Hey guys, I hope everybody's doing okay. So in today's video, I'm going to show um, be, uh, a solution which I believe I found to fix um, most of the Fallout games in the Xbox Game Pass. This is specifically only for the Xbox Game Pass as I used to play most of my games. Uh, so in the Xbox Game Pass, you have uh, most of the Fallout games right here and um so if you search out fallout on your xbox game pass you have fallout fallout 3 and so forth but unfortunately um what i've been encountering for the last couple of weeks is that when you try to download any of the fallout games from the xbox game pass on into your pc you get an error code like uh, i've been trying to download game of the year fallout 3 game of the year fallout 4 game of the year fallout new vegas and they download but when you go and launch them you get an error code uh, so i believe i found the solution to get over that i tried reddit i tried youtube nothing was really specific on how to fix the issue most of it was you have to download a mod or you have to uh, go through steam or you know you have to do other different methods so i have the games right here i'm gonna go ahead and uninstall all of them and reinstall them and show you guys what the error message what the message error code was that i was getting and how to get over that uh code and uh, how to play on it and uh, i'm gonna reinstall them i'm gonna skip all of that because i know it's gonna uh, let start game yes So uh, I'm going to reinstall them and then um, I'll pick up the video again when they're uh, finished installing. So, All right, guys, so we're back. So as you can see right here, I have uh, Fallout 3 Game of the Year uh, Edition installed and I have Fallout New Vegas Ultimate Edition installed as well. Uh, you can see right here Fallout 4. For some reason, it's making you pay for the Game of the Year edition. So I just downloaded Fallout 4. Uh, it's downloading right now, but we'll go ahead and um, we'll go home. So um, the issue that I came across with the Fallout games were... So I just downloaded Fallout 3 and New Vegas, right? So you go ahead and click play. Plays. Uh, bypass the administrator. So I get this code no or, or or this warning no applicable app licenses found okay and then i get this error code right here something went wrong launching your game error code 0x87e50028 okay so the game shuts down i was stuck like this for a couple of weeks uh so what i found out to do is um i did some research and somebody was somebody on I think it was on Reddit it said that you have to change the com um, compatibility uh, requirements or the settings, so, something so the game could be compatible with the new uh, Windows, Windows 11, because this game only runs on Windows 7. So I found out how to do that. Um, I couldn't find anything on YouTube or Reddit specifically showing you how to do it. So I want to show you guys how to do it. So for Fallout 3 game of the year, you right click. You go to manage, uh, you go to files, you go to browse, and it's gonna pop up this menu right here. So in this menu right here, where you go to uh, Fallout 3 Game of the Year, you click on it, click on content, you go to Game of the Year, uh, Fallout 3 Game of the Year English, click on that, and you go to uh, Fallout Launcher MS, I believe. And you go to properties and you go to com compatibility you go to the compatibility tab and uh, you go ahead and you click run this program in compatibility mode for windows 7 you click on it uh windows 7 so see you hit apply and then you hit okay uh it shouldn't really do anything and the thing that i found out so after you um close that and you try to launch it again it's still it's still not gonna work but i was really really pissed off so when i try to do some other digging and then what i found out that works for me i don't know if it's gonna work for everybody is you go back to browse you go to fallout 3 game of the year 
content and um, Fallout 3 give me your English and then from right here you click on Fallout Launcher MS and it's gonna launch the game from right here and this is a menu so give me one second guys okay perfect the volume on the game was too loud so this is what you're supposed to get when you launch fallout 3 from the xbox game pass menu but unfortunately there's some error code or something that either xbox i mean microsoft or fallout or bethesda has not updated within their game files or uh, within the programs that they run to launch the game so um, let me show you guys again so you hit exit so you go to browse you go to fallout 3 game of the year you go to content you go to fallout 3 game of the year english file and then right here you go to fallout launcher ms and you just simply double click you bypass the administrator and you're on the game menu so uh right here you can change some stuff like options uh it brings up the um graphics uh the graphics settings and right here you can change it uh resolution i put this is my resolution setting uh, i noticed that doesn't really change anything within the resolution setting of the game it looks the same as playing on the xbox 360 and i'm playing on the pc so even if we choose ultra i say radio settings have been set for ultra high quality it doesn't change the quality so uh, it still looks the same maybe a little bit slightly better i couldn't notice when i was playing the game but yeah so you press ok so data files uh it shows you right here all the dlcs and some other stuff uh so okay tech support i didn't even really click on it, it takes you to the bethesda page that's about it so uh yeah you go to play and um launches the game so i just want to show you guys how to fix the issue so if you're playing on xbox game pass uh, and you download any of the Fallout games, it's not going to let you play them um, or it's not going to let you launch them unless you change the compatibility within the settings. Um, I guess it has to read that it's going to run in video graphic settings because on Windows 7. So if you don't have that setting changed, it's not going to let you play it at all. And it's a frustrating situation to be in. I did it for like a couple of weeks and I was already going to just give up. But, you know, I didn't because the Fallout series is a childhood game that I used to always play when I was little. So, yeah, I have it right here. Continue. For some reason, it saved. I think it saved my last game settings. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, I got my pit boy already. It's my birthday party. I'm nine years old. And you can play. So, uh, we'll exit this. Quit. Exit game. And, um we'll go to fallout new vegas now so um let me see where's 99 percent. okay cool so while we we're getting it already so um okay we just got it so fallout new vegas we'll go ahead and play it okay no applicable app licenses found okay the same error code is 0x8070 okay so um you go to right click manage Go to files, go to browse, uh, you go to Fallout New Vegas Ultimate Edition content. Make sure you choose the English file or the English folder um, because these folders are uh, under the content file. So go right here and go to Fallout New Vegas Launcher. Uh, right click, go to properties. It's going to be under this tab again, compatibility and uh, run this. It's already right there, so let me see. Run this. Okay. So apply. Hit OK. Remember, guys, do not go back and try to launch it from right here. Just go to Fallout New Vegas Launcher, and this should launch from right here. 
So yeah, exactly same thing. I haven't played this game, so uh, I just want to show you guys that it will be able to launch once once the settings are changed, and um, you do have to launch it from here. So every time you do play the game, uh, you do have to go into this menu to launch and play the game. All your data is still going to be saved. That's a great thing. So uh, I changed the settings, right? If you try to launch it from this menu, it, it'll give you the same error code as before. Um, so you see it right here, same error code, same error code. So for some reason, it's still an issue where you have to go manage games, go to files, go to browse, uh, go to um, New Vegas content English, and you go to follow New Vegas launcher. And it launches from here. I still haven't figured a way out to successfully launch it from the Xbox Game Pass menu, but this is the little process that I have to go through that I figured out how to play. So go ahead and exit. So um, since all the settings are changed, we're gonna try to see if we still have to change the compatibility settings for other games. So browse, uh, Fallout 4 PC, content. Ooh, this one has more. Ah, let's see. Uh, Fallout 4, okay, so we'll look for the Fallout 4 launcher, so, uh, okay, so now we still have to change it, so it didn't work out, so uh, we'll go right here, go to properties, compatibility issues, run program in compatibility mode for Windows 7, apply, <laughs> Oh. Great. Okay, cool. So I figured this out. Man, this game looks horrible, man. What the hell was this? I need to change this anyway, so. Alright, cool, guys. So, let me see. Let me quit game. Uh, press enter. Yes. All right, so um, so I was going, I was trying to launch the game from Fallout 4 launcher. Uh, I already changed the settings, the compatibility. So it's the same thing. So instead of launching the game from Fallout launcher, you're gonna go to um, the file Fallout 4, click on it, and this is what's gonna launch the game. I try, I, I thought I came into a hiccup, but no, we're able to bypass that. So um, this is a game Fallout 4. I never played this game, so um. I don't really like the layout and everything, but mm -hmm. so you see your add-ons right here. Change the settings out there. So um, I just want to show you guys how to bypass those issues that was coming across with the um, games right here in Fallout. I mean, in the Xbox Game Pass. If you're not subscribed, I'm subscribed, so I'm paying like 16 bucks a month. Um, but uh, one other thing that I did want to show you guys, because as you can see right here, if you don't want to um, subscribe to the Xbox Game Pass, or I think you have to, or you could just buy the game for six fifty nine. The same thing for um, uh, Fallout Four. You could just buy the game for six fifty nine, or um, Fallout Three Game of the Year. It's $19.99 if you're not subscribed, but since I'm subscribed to the Game Pass, it's $6.59. Fallout 4 is also $20 because I'm subscribed, you get that little discount. But what I found out is um, if you guys go to CD Keys, cdkeys.com, and you guys type in right here, Fallout, literally the games are super super discounted right here so you could buy fallout 4 game of the year edition for 869 you could get fallout 3 game of the year edition 
or 549 and these are uh, if, you, if you buy any of them they are going to be for Steam so um, because if you have a PC you just go ahead and download Steam and um, you'll just buy the whole game for um, what is it eight bucks and you don't have to be subscribed to Xbox Game Pass so um, there is some other games on the Xbox Game Pass that I do play and that's why I'm subscribed to it but if you just pay for this game nine bucks you have it for like to ever you get bored um and this is legit you know i bought several um keys from this website and it's it's illegal they all purchased the keys from i don't know who from microsoft or from whoever and they just sell it at this kind of price but it's all legit you know i bought several of them right here so if you don't want to go through xbox game pass uh you could just go through steam and buy them right here but um if you do want the xbox game pass they sell it right here as well so they sell the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate for three months, thirty bucks. It's usually like I don't know, sixty bucks. So you save thirty bucks the year. They have everything right here. Uh, so you could just come check it out. But for the majority of the video, I just wanted to show you guys how to bypass those error codes that you do get from the Xbox Game Pass when you download any of the Fallout games. I don't know why it's just an issue with Fallout games, but yeah, I uh, figured out how to play it how to download the game how to launch the game and how to play it successfully so um i hope this helps anybody so thanks a lot guys hopefully you guys have a good day